Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be going over how you can enter your opening balances on Zoho Books. So let's get right into it. But before I start, let me just mention that I have come down with a bit of a cold and my throat is very sore at the moment. So I do apologize if I sound a bit weird. However, that should not affect this tutorial at all. So let me get right into it. First, what Zoho Books is, then what opening balances are and why you need them and then how you can enter them. So Zoho Books is pretty much an accounting software. It is used to help you uh, and your business with pretty much everything you need uh, when it comes to accounting. It has a wide variety of tools which you can use for a lot of different things from managing your uh, bank statements and invoices uh, to sales to other transactions. Uh, you can uh, automate your taxes and so on and so forth. There's a lot of things that you can do and it is a very useful tool. And uh, pretty much if you switch to Zoho Books, uh, you will need uh, to ensure that all details from previous accounts are brought in. Uh, that uh, is previous inventory level sales and purchase details, uh, customers and vendors, uh, income and expense statements, miscellaneous journal entries, and more, uh, as well as bank statements, as I've said, uh, other things uh, as well, which I don't know what all of them are since I'm not in accounting, but pretty much everything is covered in Zoho Books and that you need to make sure is brought over from your previous method of keeping check. Now to do it, uh, to enter opening balances, uh, it, uh, Zoho Books by default has a list of accounts that are common for all businesses. Uh, they're uh, grouped into accounts, payables and receivables, assets, expenses, liabilities, bank accounts, equity and income, pretty much the standard uh, economic uh, factors in accounting. Uh, then what you need to do to enter them, just click settings, select opening balances under organization, enter the opening balance date. Uh, this is usually the date you start using the service. Uh, and this applies to all uh, businesses, both new and existing. And then you enter balances of all your receivables or payables and other accounts. And that is pretty much it. Uh, there is a lot of different things uh, that I could mention here in this article. However, I do implore you to check it out yourself since I don't have the time to explain everything. Uh, but it's pretty much uh, very similar. You just go to opening balances under organization, enter opening balance date, then go to account receivables, then to import uh, uh, your customers uh, or the balances of your customers. Uh, you can just click here, as you can see here on the image uh, for accounts receivable and accounts payable. Uh, you can click both these buttons and it should do it for you. Then you need to click the file which you want to upload. And that's mainly it for all these uh, segments, I guess you could call them here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.